The Binding of Isaac Repentance, Sleep Deprived Edition. Hello everyone, I haven't actually slept since uh, the last episode you saw. I just started in Runner's Eden uh, and realized OBS wasn't recording, so I'm starting again. Uh, so you're probably wondering, and this is just something that used to be maybe in the game, but is, but is it was in the game, it's guaranteed, might not be anymore. Uh, basically, if you stop a run, like I did to open OBS, then go back into it, you do have a lower special item chance and special items are like unique items like brimstone all the good items basically therefore i'm going to start a fresh one and accept uh the loss on that we're going to take the minus one so let's unlock a new thing i think kane might be fun to play and play kane for a long time starts with only two hearts but he gets lucky foot he gets higher luck uh he has great speed great damage Good tiers rate. Standard tiers rate, I should say. Um, but he's a good all-round character. No space bar item is his weakness compared to a lot of other characters. In fact, uh, his Azel doesn't. A, a lot of characters have a space bar item. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Kane, though, makes up for it in raw damage. Right, so. This is a early first floor, so we could... And it's not an XL floor, so we could go in that curse room without so much of a problem. Uh, however, why don't we clear some more of the floor, see how we get on. I don't want to throw away the little health that we've got here. We might not get any more red heart drops. We might go in the curse room. We might be fucked for the boss fight, whatever that happens to be. So we'll take things a bit more carefully, I think. But I like Ken as a character. He's also got the trinket there in the... Uh... Ooh, that's also a great trinket. Uh, we've also got the paperclip, which allows us to open any gold chest for free. Flat Penny... Whenever you pick up a penny, you get keys. I would argue that is more valuable than paperclip. They do basically the same thing. One lets you open chests for free. The other gives you the keys that you need to open the chest for free. But with the keys we get from Flat Penny, we can also open the way through to the DLC floor. We can open doors and chests and locked rooms and the whole lot. So... As far as trinkets go, that's one that's quite literally a direct upgrade, in my opinion, over the one that we had. And I think it's pretty alright. Yeah. It's not guaranteed, I should say, to give a key. Um, whereas, of course, Paperclip is guaranteed to unlock chests. It just, that's just what it do. Um, whereas with this, there's a chance to get a key. I think the chance at a more valuable key is better. We'll probably be able to, with this, uh, we'll probably genuinely be able to unlock every golden chest we come across anyway. I'll be very surprised if we don't. It might have nerfed it into the ground, though, to be fair. Flat penny certainly a high tier trinket. Oh, apparently we're just going to rain keys anyway, eh? Uh, let's have a look in the shop. What have you got for me? A bag for three pennies. That's actually not bad. Got penny back, and we got justice, which justice. will give us a key. Oh, damn it. I was hoping the coin would give us a key. We definitely got a key. We got a bomb there, too. And we can go in the curse room relatively safely now. What I'm looking for is some more health for trying to get a deal with the devil on the next floor. Oh, they've made the Headless Horseman look a bit different. He's like all obese now. That's locked down. I get it. He's really let himself go. Really, I would recommend focusing on the horse part rather than the head part. Mainly because if you kill the horse part second, he drops uh, the horse as a pickup. And the horse gives you the ability to fly, which isn't bad. Oh, we don't have a spacebar item. You know what? I might actually take the horse. Fuck it. You get, I think it's just called the pony. Um, death also does the same thing. Drops a white pony. Death's pony is better because as you charge with death's pony, it does... Uh, there it is. It does uh, not only a dash attack, but a dash attack that drops kind of lights as well. So we can get all this stuff for free now, which is quite good. And another key. That's the second secret room. Told you. Oh, it's a first secret room. Oh, well, yeah, of course it must be because it's adjacent. Well, we got plenty of keys. Oh, my God. We're already out of control on keys. I like it. Um, we can get that chest that's at the top of the map, too. We've got two bombs, though. So, oh, it's a gamble that will pay off, I'm sure. Let's do it. I should have placed it this side. Knock open that uh, jar as well. Bloody bombs. I'm not sure what they do. They give us a health upgrade, and they also let you place bombs. Um, well, they also give you some bombs to place, I should say. But the bombs leave this kind of red shit on the floor. I don't know what that does. Is it just creep? Let's see. Spider. Spider. Walk on this red. It's creep. Oh, that's good. 
With the ability to fly as well, we take half damage going into curse rooms. I'll, I'll, I'll keep kind of explaining what's going on, at least for a little bit longer. For again, the, uh, a lot of people gave some feedback on last episode and said that they appreciated the, uh, the extra little bit of info. So I'll try and do that as much as I can. Especially until, again, the items, uh, the, sorry, the workshop mods get updated to actually give us better descriptions on everything. Then you guys would just be able to read what's going on. So arcades, bit of valuable information. Um, arcades will spawn on the second floor. Uh, every second floor, in this case, Dross is our second floor. Um, even though it's Dross 1, it's a little confusing. Um, as long as you have over five coins in your inventory. Let's not play that blood bank, because that will ruin our deal with the devil, from what I recall. Actually, do they? I'm not sure they do in hindsight. They might not. I'm a li little bit concerned that we're even... Probably not even going to get a deal with the devil, because these dross enemies seem very unpredictable. And we have not got... Oh! Wait, we still got a deal with the devil, though. Okay, that apparently doesn't count. I guess maybe they thought it was willing. Which it was, obviously. <clears throat> it wasn't. Let's take Spoonbender. Homing shots I like. They also synergize really well with basically everything in the game. Spoonbender adds for some, it sets up for some, uh, for some fun shenanigans. And that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm always here for. Fun shenanigans, you know? Oh! Fuck off! Right, you big fucking prick. That's what you get. Unbelievable. But that goes our deal with the devil. This run isn't bad enough where I can't complain. But this, this run is good enough so that I don't have to complain about it yet. Let's phrase it like that. But if that happens too frequently, I will be... I'll be pissed. I'm very angry. Oh, it hasn't ruined our deal with the devil, but certainly a lot worse than it needs to be. So that item there is a leash or reins or something like that. Basically keeps your familiars a little bit closer to you. Which is of questionable use, to be completely honest. It's okay, but it's not fantastic. We can really do with a range upgrade, because our shots just can't hit these fucking enemies, eh? Plenty of potential here for spirit hearts. By plenty of potential, I mean it's a 1 in 10 chance and there's 8 fires. So, statistically, we won't get a spirit heart from that room. Don't believe my lies. Okay. Yes, shop. I'm going to take that now. Because we've still got a 36% chance of the deal with the devil. Versus colostoma. Colostomia. It's a big colostomy bag. Hello, you're fucking tanky, aren't you? Then again, it is just a colostomy bag. Oh, when since when do fucking butt bombs explode in a line? I was gonna try and push that over to him. I decided at the last second that was a bad idea. But yeah, butt bombs. You see that big explosion in the line? They do. They don't do that if you pick up the item butt bombs. Well, fucking hell! I'm glad I picked up. Jesus Christ! I'm glad I picked up that spirit heart now. The enemies in this in this new DLC are actually fucking ridiculous. The bot bombs thing is bullshit, by the way. Because the players' bot bombs don't fucking do that. Oh, look, now they've stopped doing it? I don't want to stand in this puddle of big, filthy shit, but I assume because we... What? Oh, we're going to start again. I don't know entirely what killed me there. And I'll be honest, I'm not sure I want to know. These new enemies... They are... Actually very hard compared to regular Isaac enemies. They really are. They're they're kind of silly. Oh, well. I'm getting impatient, I will admit. I'm getting quite impatient with this. Jesus, what a, what a pisser. Not a fan of that guy at all. That last one was okay. Uh, I mean, except for the part that we died. That bit obviously wasn't okay. The damage was m mediocre. Um, we were very good on resources that run, but we weren't good on much else. And you can only get so far on resources. <laughs> and you can get uh, conveniently right into the DLC runs with that. So yes, you can go very far with resources. Which is something that I have not been able to do many, many times because of a lack of fucking resources. Because I really don't like the fact that the DLC areas are cordoned off by the amount of consumables that you have access to. Actually, we can open these for free, can't we? Oh, Jesus. Monkey's Paw, uh, you can. When you get hit, you have a chance of spawning a spirit heart. But there is a downside to it. I don't remember what. That's a good item. Acid Tears. It's a damage upgrade and we can smash whatever the hell we want. The counterpoint, your eyeballs burn out. 
But Kane was already missing an eyeball, so that's really only 50% worse than the regular Isaac character. And when you consider it like that, it's a great deal. That makes it 25% better. Sir, cry better. It's also based on your luck stat, given that Kane starts with a luck upgrade. That's not bad. Uh, I'm not going to risk that. <laughs> I'm not that impatient. Right. I suppose we'll start popping everything then, eh? I miss you already, Flatpenny. Oh, this room can fuck right off. Envy fight. You can get out. Fucking Envy. Right. Focus on one head at a time. That's the secret to Envy. Just take it slowly. Be careful and considerate. Not of Envy. That would be silly. Of yourself, obviously. Which is why I walked into that barrel to blow it up. What you might not realize is walking into barrels and blowing them up actually gives you a slight DPS upgrade. Uh, because it makes you fucking furious and way more dedicated. Or oh, maybe that's just me. I'm not entirely sure. Right. Let's head out. One heart to fight the boss. Oh, you shouldn't. But yeah, you, you, you shouldn't. That was advice. Smash these jars as well. There is a very... Oh, there used to be anyway until they nerfed everything. A very small chance that you can get uh, the Corsa from one of these jars. Smashing them randomly. It's very, very rare. Um, but given that we can smash them all at absolutely zero cost, except for time, um, which is arguably the only things that all humans share equally in terms of cost, uh, our finite amount of, of, you know, the ultimate resource of life, which I'm wasting smashing virtual jars in a video game. I mean, it's also my job, so... I can justify a bit more. Where are we going? Oh, here. Wait, I thought we'd already cleared this way. These runs are all blending together in my head. It's also very early. I already talked about that. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I've lost track at this point. Everything is a blur. We're on half a heart. I see why people play with controller. Because, you know, actual digital input is shit if you need to stop in a hurry. Because, you know, on or off is not necessarily good for acceleration. Although, that would make for a very interesting car. We can find secret rooms with this as well. Hence why I just found that secret room. You can fuck off. I suppose I'll melt some skulls. That could have been somebody's mother. That could have been someone's aunt. It's all irrelevant to Kane. They all melt the same. They also might have black hearts in, which might keep us alive a little bit longer. There we go. May your rage bring you power. See, told you that's how it works. And here we are. Blighted Ovum. It's not how you spell Ovum. Unless you live in America. Which point it is. Maybe Canada too? I'm not sure. I don't spell Ovum like that here. Although now I've said that, I'm not entirely sure how I would spell Ovum. I'll look it up in a second. It's going to bother me otherwise. Much like I bothered him by murdering him apparently. Hello. Guardian of the sewer. All right, down we go. Ovum. 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 Is that how you spell that? Oh, maybe you do spell ovum like that. I don't know why I thought it had, had an E in it. Uh, etymology. Oh, Wikipedia doesn't have anything for that. Okay, well, fuck you, Wikipedia. Right, moving on. <laughs> ah, I don't know why I thought it had an E in it. I'm gonna get confused with French. Oh, God. Careful there. All right, what have we got? The Hermit. Okay, here's an idea. We'll go in here. We'll take this item. That's fantastic. We'll go in here. Bloody Lust. As you take damage, you get stronger. Told you Rage was, 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 was valuable. What we'll do is we'll open these up. Get Guppy's Collar. Which is what I was gonna say, obviously. That's my whole plan for coming in here. Fuck off. Now we look like deep fucking value. Oh. Oh. Well. That's a thing, isn't it? That's a new thing. I'm not going to waste a bomb. We're just going to hermit out to the shop. And then we're going to move on with our life. What was I talking about before? Yeah, Bloody Lust is definitely an A tier item. There's another one called Lusty Blood. Um, which makes it as you deal damage... You gain more damage, which is very, very powerful. As you kill enemies, I should say. 
you gain more damage. There's also a rock tinted there we can get for absolutely free and a small rock for a damage upgrade. Speed down. Kane always already starts with Jesus Christ. Kane already starts with uh, above average speed, so that's that's fine. There may be some Isaac sweaty boys out there asking. Why are you not smashing every single rock on the map to try and get a crawl space slash black market? Uh, which is a rare thing that can spawn when you smash rocks that are not, which are just regular rocks. Uh, the simple answer for that is, refer to my previous discussion about the finality of life. If I was Elrond, maybe I'd fucking sit here and smash every rock on the map. Unfortunately, I don't have that luxury. I have the very difficult life of playing video games all day. <laughs> well, I'm apparently not sleeping and also setting up new RimWorld series, which are... Is a, is a real killer. This will also give us a damage upgrade. And we get the bonus of potentially getting something from this lovely guy. You go very red uh, as you gain damage. Which perhaps explains the Cold War. Careful there. These guys are horrible. They're, they're a cool design, but still very horrible. Right, I'm leaving. What's this? Lock up. Oh, how lucky. What's the boss got for me? It's Wormwood. This is not bloody Colostomy Bag or whatever his fucking name was. Colostomia? That's a clever name. Hello, Wormwood. We're a lot stronger than the last time we faced, old man. You were but the master, but now I am... The Apprentice? How does that quote go? Because that does not sound right at all. That wouldn't be something to brag about, Vader. A spoon! Which makes us run faster. It's made of wood. Careful there. Uh, black powder actually wouldn't hurt with this much speed, but I'm not going to take it. Dark matter. Damage up and a fear shot. Very nice. Our damage is actually absurd right now. Obviously, it'll disappear when we go to the next floor. So, lusty... Sorry, bloody lust effect lasts for the whole floor, but then that's it. Right. Pay out. Pay out better. Uh, not bad. Endless Nameless has a chance to clone consumables when you use them. However, I would prefer the ability to open every lock. I don't think it works on doors, though, now that I've said that. But it might. So I'm, I'm second-guessing myself. Oh! By which I mean, oh, that's obviously intentional to get the damage upgrade. On the plus side, if we do get to the mother fight, I'm going to have so much damage by the end of it. Maybe to my heart. Right. That's a secret room. We can get in here when we normally wouldn't be able to, right? Because that was a boss trap room. Oh, the stapler. I don't know what you do. Just a damage upgrade? That's a good damage upgrade. Hell yeah, give me that. Now we've got to fight the Duke of Flies, who's absolutely not the Duke of Flies. Why is he such a wormy man? Was his name Lil, Lil Blub? I honestly don't remember. Oh! There go all my... Ah, oh, you motherfucker. There go all my spirit hearts. Oh, I hate this guy. Too unpredictable. As with <laughs> every boss. Careful now. Are they unpredictable or is it the fact that I just don't know how to predict them yet because I have not played this sig sufficiently? Maybe both. I'll, I, my answer is whatever gives me more of a plausible excuse. How about that? <laughs> I'll be taking no further questions at this time, Your Honor. Right. Let's be fucking careful. God, our range is terrible. Yeah, a range upgrade would be actually really, really nice right now. Getting lots of deja vu saying that. These guys especially, though, they're quite a long-reaching enemy. Right. Oh, this is horrible. Well, I stand just about as much chance as I usually do hitting anything. Oh, God. Careful. Oh, of course, we've got we've got melty, melty tears. Let's melt my way through the rocks. I melt my way through everything, actually. I can't believe I keep forgetting that. Now that we've got dark matter, obviously, without the visual cue, I've just kind of, kind of, just kind of given up trying to remember. What happens if I shoot those? Oh, they're full of apparently explosive diarrhea. Explosive. We haven't really heard much of that. The um, When you take a pill, there's a narrator for some of the items. I remember when they first added it, added it people were, like, not pleased about it at all. Was a bit weird, a bit jarring. 
Suddenly there's a man telling you everything that you're putting in your mouth. Careful there. Right. We've got the choice of a wormy friend or anything. Tech point five is nice. We also will occasionally fire lasers. Our damage is actually very good this run. Very good. Range is less relevant, I guess, now that we've got tech point five. Survivability now becomes the big thing. If we could get, like, our library for Satanic Bible or Book of Revelations, that would be very, very nice. I wonder if our tech point five tiers, because they're also... I mean, our laser beam is, is black, right? The same as our fear shot. I wonder if they can also do uh, melty tiers. I would assume not, but you never know. Right, don't forget, got to get the knife piece on this wall. I guess we got to do that now. Should be looking for secret rooms everywhere as well, shouldn't I? It's safe to say there's probably not one through there. It's safe to say there's not one through there either. Something's wrong. Clog! I've never fought you before. Oh, it's another poo monster. Who could have possibly guessed? How crass. Oh. Lord. There we go. Flushing him away. Good work. <laughs> Super bandage is quite nice. Lots of hearts there. It says plus two hearts, but I think it actually gives like plus three hearts, which is very bizarre. Right. So, let's go find our shop. Let's find our mirror. Let's go for the mirror world. Kill that guy again very easily, I assume. Get our knife piece and go home. I really should be shooting these buckets, shouldn't I? Just for the chance at the coins. While we're going through, I'll also try and find the secret room. Could be there. Oh, we've already found the secret room. We need to find the second secret room. But to be fair, there's a lot of places on this it could be. So it can't be adjacent to any other room. And there's quite a few rooms that are not adjacent. Oh, there's our... Okay. Well, let's go to the shop first. See if we can get something potentially helpful. And then we'll go into our mirror world. So I am focusing a little bit because obviously we don't know our health. It's doing me a concern. Fishtail gives us uh, flies, I believe, occasionally. What have you got for me? I mean, deck of cards is quite literally better than nothing. And there's a lot of good cards in this game. The tower happens to not be one of them. So let's go like this. Fly in there with you. Open this up. Get some spirit hearts back. Very nice. Get you through the mirror. And we're good. All right. So then, let's just book it straight to... Uh, I wonder what's in the mob trap room. Because we had the stapler in the first world. What if there leaving me anything in there this time? Might, might not be anything. That was a waste of a bomb. If we've got some fury tears, we could have just mounted that down, but that's okay. All right. What's in here? Nothing this time. Can we kill him with some fury tears? No. It probably isn't worth wasting a ball on that for 2.5% extra chance of a deal with the devil. Um, but if we get him out in with some fury tears, that'd be good to remember for future balls. Future devil deals. Oh, of course, we've got spectral tears now. Oh, that's interesting that characters that... I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but characters that, that fly are not affected by the current. Just makes perfect sense, but as it's kind of an extra added difficulty. Seems like they've given a lot more incentive to fly these days. Ooh, that's not a bad item. More chance of cards appearing. I, won't, I think we'll just not worry about it. The trinket we've got right now is perfectly good enough. Okay, first knife piece down. Let's go clear out the boss again, because the boss was, like, frighteningly easy. It's weird, because Dross is, um... So, so, on the first floor, you've got the basement, and you've got the cellar. And you've got the... The burning basement, that's it. The basement is considered the easiest. The cellar, I would personally consider the, uh, second easiest. With the, um... The burning basement being the hardest. In this, though, Dross, the bosses, seem very, very easy. Particularly because I believe this is a boss that can only spawn on Dross. It's a Dross boss. Get flushed. There is an item called Flush that kills certain poop enemies instantly. I wonder if you use the flush on him whether it works or not. Because he's called Clog. 
That would be very meta. I'm that lazy. I'm going to use the full card to teleport back this many floors. That's correct. Okay. Let's get out of here then. First part achieved. I think our health is actually going to be very high. I think it's going to be shockingly high. I'm, I think this one is okay. Unfortunately, a lot of our strength right now is coming from taking damage. Um, which is something I am a expert in doing, to be completely frank. Uh, but it's a bad thing to rely on for hopefully fairly obvious reasons. We opened up OBS again. Minimized it to search up the spelling of Ovum? What am I going to do with this useless bomb? Blood these mushrooms. Oh, do they count as regular mushrooms? Oh, they do. They give us the Liberty Cap. I guess in that case, there's a chance of potentially getting a uh, Magic Mushroom then too. Liberty Cap gives around a Mushroom Item effect. So you might potentially get, I don't know, um, the Blue Mushroom, which name I can't remember now. Oh, that's a good item. Uh, so when we pick up a coin, there's a chance you can pick up uh, another coin. Or oh, basically, it will count as two coins. Would I prefer that? Or would I prefer more keys to go with my already pretty ridiculous amount of keys? Well, to be fair, we probably got a ridiculous amount of keys because we're not expending any keys. Uh, the counterfeit penny has more potential. Certainly worth going like this for this room anyway. Ah, oh, you see, we're up to 20 now from three coins. I could actually be persuaded to take that. Yeah, let's go back and grab it. We've got Sulfuric Tears too, so we've got more opportunities to grab things like keys that spawn in weird places. Evidently, much like this room here. All right, there we go. I think I will take Counterfeit Penny. Makes all our shops, like, so, so valuable. Give me that. Right. Let's take a look at our item room. Item rooms, I have noticed, though, do give ten, do, do tend to give a combination of uh, two items. Ow, what's in the fucking spike? Um, I think the pencil is good enough to take. Lead pencil, you have a pencil stud in your eye. Eventually, you will do, well, occasionally, you'll do those um, cluster shots based on your luck stat. Our luck stat happens to be very good. I'd say three luck stat is it's not very good, but it's good. Three luck is, is good, yeah, for sure. Bread when your base luck is zero, and there aren't that many items that increase luck. There's a lot of lucky pennies. Apparently, playing the donation machine gives a ridiculous amount of luck. Oh, a free deal with the devil. We'll probably get one on this floor regardless, so we won't use the joker card here. That is nice to see, though. I should really be shooting all these mushrooms, because if we get magic mush, then our dreams come true. We got, Well, we would have a lot of damage at that stage. I'm not sure I've got the energy to destroy all these fucking mushrooms. That's a lot of mushrooms you're asking me to kill there, pal. We've got some... Oh, we've got pretty flies as a pill, though, don't we? Three pretty flies? That's a good amount of damage mitigated. Because those guys take the shot rather than you, the little flies orbiting us right there. Flies made of, I don't know, solid titanium, apparently. Oh, and luck pills. Oh, you know what? Our pill rotation is pretty good. It is worth destroying these. Right. Curse room? Ah, probably not worth it. Not now, anyway. Give me your... Give me your mushrooms. Yes. Die mushrooms. Come on. Give me something good here. Nothing. Got high hopes for you, pills. Oh! That enemy dropped a spirit heart. You see that? Well, it wasn't a tinter rock, was it? Maybe it was a tinter rock and I'm... Visually impaired. They are quite hard to see, though, to be fair. Oh, hello. Right, let's head up through this northern door. We might end up backtracking here, and I wouldn't be surprised if we do. Oh, both buttons are depressed. Oh, right. Oh, no, no backtracking needed. We're good. It's weird that a level kind of loops around on itself like that. Very bizarre. I like that the, um, if, you in if you use the visibility option in the options menu, it does make Curse of Darkness... A little bit easier. I, I, again, I, the only reason I enabled it is because for people watching on mobile, YouTube compression makes videos real dark sometimes. Stars. Oh, not one of these fucking things again. Get out of here. I want to grab that. Fuck off. 
bold and troll bomb. Those are cool. I wonder why they added those. Those could be from this DLC. They could be from one of the boost packs. I honestly don't. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I did try the booster packs whenever I remembered. Um, I don't think I've picked up all the booster pack items, though. Booster packs, again, just to reiterate, are the uh, mini DLCs they released in between Afterbirth Plus and this DLC. Right, Piggy Bank is fantastic. Piggy Bank plus Counterfeit Penny is very good. Piggy Bank is whenever we get hit, we drop coins with Lusty Blood. Well, sorry, Bloody Lust. That will give us, obviously, some, some good bonuses. In terms of... Uh, in terms of mitigating loss, we're doing very, very good. Given that we've actually got a big incentive to get hit now, to be fair. The Hanged Man gives us a temporary ability to fly. The Emperor lets us fight the boss. Judgment spawns a beggar, which we can feed. Eat. Eat, my child. We've got our bandage. So we might also spawn hearts as we take damage here. Wow. Oh, Dark Bum. What a play. Dark Bum we had last run, didn't we? So I don't need to describe Dark Bum. Gideon. Gideon. I wish I could do an impression of Moff, Moff Gideon about now. But that's a, that's a hard impression. Giancarlo. What's his name? Giancarlo Esposito or something like that? Honestly, don't remember. Um, well, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've seen it written down. He's got a very distinctive voice. That'd be a, that'd be a good impression to get in to get in the repertoire. He did voices for Payday, bizarrely enough, which is a game I also played a frightening amount of. I got very good at that game very briefly. Got to like Infamy, Infamy Four, something like that. Got some of the hard achievements. Some of the very hard achievements, actually. Me and Elise played it quite a lot, too. But uh, that's one of the games where, like, I've played with a lot of separate groups of friends. It's one of those games that just translates as well. We didn't get a deal with the devil, so there's no reason not to use the Joker card here. Could have gone into the curse room. Oh, now we've got a fucking deal with the devil. I'll also take Judas' shadow. We don't want to trigger it because we've already cleared the mum fight as Judas. But it's nice just to get a win. And if we die, it's better than nothing, you know? And we're, we're, with Dark Bum, getting new hearts is fine. Come on, Dark Bum. Fucking hell, take your time, pal. You traitorous little shit. Right. So I think what we'll do is we will... What else was in the shop? Because we've got so much... What was this pill? Speed up. Great. That was worth it. We've got so many coins, and we are going to get so many coins that, honestly, anything we can buy from the shop is pretty much worth grabbing. Let's go down to the next floor. Oh, my God. Did we get a deal with it? No, that's why we picked up Go Ahead. Ooh. Um, what we'll do then is we'll teleport straight to the boss, get our deal with the devil straight away. Actually, we'll go in here. Yara. Never mind. Fight the boss. Kill the boss. Get the devil deal. And then go and get our next knife piece with a bit more power under our belt, I assume. That pencil, when it works, very effective. It's got another heart there. A little HP upgrade. Yeah, you can have those. The Hierophant. Wow, look at this. Sacrificial Dagger is good enough to uh, warrant that, in my opinion. The Hierophant card has paid our entry through here. Something for Dark Bum. Hey, nice. What is that? Perks. Perks is a good pill. We've got a really good pill ro rotation this time. wonder if they've got one that will cure my chronic hiccups. Right, so, buttons. I'm looking for all the buttons. I'm also looking for magic mushroom, but that should just be true always. By that, I mean the Isaac item, obviously. Don't be absurd. Don't take that out of context. Cancelled on Twitter. Shot speed up. Oh! Infested. Every pill we've got has been actually fine. Shot speed up isn't necessarily a good pill. The sad onion is very, very good. Tears upgrade. Wow. That is a very, very good tears upgrade. I kind of wish we hadn't taken that other shot speed up pill, but hey, it doesn't really matter too much. Temperance. Uh, temperance is no good. Good God, and Tinted Rot there too. 
Oh, man. Uh, this is good. Like, our speed, especially, is, like, really, really in a good place right now. But just everything feels so rapid. High speed Isaac. That's the best kind of Isaac. Dark bum. Consume. Old bandage plus dark bum. Phenomenal combination. Whenever we get hit, there's a chance we drop a red heart. And there's a chance that dark bum will turn that into something we can actually use. This is a great run. Like, for survivability and everything, too. This is fantastic. Golden keys and golden bombs on another floor. I feel like they've made those way more common in, uh, in this version. Maybe to make up for the fact that you have to expend so much to get where we are right now. Okay. How many buttons we pressed? We just went on the one in the actual minecart room, which I assume is back by the spawn point. Ah, you big bitch. 35 coins. Let's find the shop, too. Might as well put ourselves in the best position. Hello. Oh. You're not staying. Kane versus Greed. Nothing. Just a bunch of worthless coins. Well, we've defeated Greed in the shop, so we can only ever get Ultra Greed in the shop going forward. And then after that, I mean, how many more levels have we got? Two? So it could be Ultra Greed and then a guarantee. We're, we're guaranteed to get at least minimum one more shop. And that's if we are either lucky or unlucky, depending on, I guess, your definition of that. Right, here we go then. Off we go. We're going to feel like a big slowpoke compared to this. Right. Look at those stat downgrades. We lost 11 damage. Fuck. I assume then, uh... Yeah, so Bloody Lust does not activate. Despite the fact that we've got kind of the red glow of Bloody Lust, we have actually not got the, um... The damage. Our speed is still so good. That's why I like playing as Kane. Slow Isaac characters really do my head in. There's a Tinsel Rot there for reasons. I assume we can blow it up with bombs on the way back. <laughs> Fucking laugh at me. Ow! I walked into the bloody rock. Right, get out of here. No, that was bad. I'm fucking this up already. What a big whiff. Yeah, we actually can't get that, which is... Ow! It's very annoying that they put it there. I'm doing a big whiff on this mum chase. Nice. That was not bad. Okay. Ooh, that was massively overshot. Brother. Nice. Oh, no. We actually do need that, unfortunately. Oh, that was bad. Come on. Just throw the bomb. Just throw it in a straight line. That's not going to work. Right, hold on. Ooh, it's too high pressure. I hate it. This bit sucks. It is the source of so much health going. Every single time I do it, I feel like I'm just shitting away hell. Well, that's because I am. Ooh. No, bad, bad throw, bad throw, bad throw. Big whiff. Come on. Head in the game. Nice. Oh, I walked into her. Fair, our health is still okay. With Dart Bum. We don't have to worry about health. He's a good friend. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, I walked into the spikes. I don't care. I thought I was going to say, if that did damage to me, then I was I would be very pissed. I'm not hanging around for you. Fuck off. Well, that did not go super well, but could have gone a lot worse. Why am I carrying this bloody temperance machine with me? Get out of here. Go on, Dark Bum. Consume. Nothing. You've got to be close to paying out, though. Not for a secret room, but I think I'm happy just to keep the momentum going. Well, behind schedule quite significantly. It's all that bloody backtracking. Right, so, Devil Deal, we've checked. Just du double checking. Mausoleum, then. Okay. And bear in mind... Oh, fuck. I was going to say we got Devil Deal on each floor. The fact that we got a Labyrinth... Oh, fuck off. The fact that we got Curse of the Labyrinth is quite frustrating there. It means that we've missed out on a Devil Deal. Which we otherwise would have gotten. Ah, what kind of range is that? Okay, we've got to be careful of health. It's always this floor and the next floor. I start getting impatient and start hemorrhaging health on. That's on me. So let's be a bit more cautious then. Caution is my specialty if you've ever watched. Well, anything I've ever done on any channel, to be completely blunt. <laughs> it should be... You can't criticize. Okay, this is, this is just a, a, a global truth now. You cannot criticize any YouTuber for a lack of caution. They are YouTubers. There is absolutely no caution in doing what any YouTuber is doing there. Okay? Just to clarify. 
It's a moot point. Logically, it's just a, you know, it's just a constant. What have you got for me? You fucking thief. You absolute thieving dick. Go on. Give me a heart, at least. Shot speed up. I don't want the shot speed up. I'm going to take it anyway, but I don't want it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Come on. Should have got something good in that. Oh, I hate him. You're lucky I can't blow you up, pal. Shot speed up is functionally bad. There's no debate. But it does make me feel so, so powerful. But to be fair... It does mean that we don't have to worry so much about reaction timings. A slow shot speed is, is way worse than a fast shot speed, you know? Because by the time the shot actually reaches an enemy, they fucked off. They basically emigrated by that point. If you got like Eve's Mascara or something, you could, they, they, they're they in a whole other game by the time the shot even hits them. Ah, oh, why not? You know, I'm bigging up so much. Why not commit money where your mouth is? The moon. Hello. This doesn't look like the moon at all. Oh, you're going to put me in a fucking curse room, you dick. Really? Oh, come on. Conserve health by uh, getting trapped by the moon card. <laughs> Two and a half hearts. Oh, jeez. I shouldn't look at it, should I? There we go. We're okay. It just hit me like, as me going on about how we're going to conserve health on this floor and how I'm going to... Be careful, because I'm always hemorrhaging health on these floors, and I fucked it. I've royally just fucked this up. What's the point of that? I can use a bomb to then bait that thing to get the pill? I suppose an item can potentially spawn there. We've got homing bombs, or a mystery item. Lost contact. Oh, jeez, that could be really bad. Lost contact block shots, which you might think, oh, that sounds incredible. What's the problem? Uh, The problem is against bullet hell bosses. They might not damage you. You're not going to damage them. And then that fight is going to last the rest of eternity. Which is never ideal. A fork. When we kill enemies, you, there's a chance you can restore a little bit of health. It's not very good. To be honest. Uh, I'm going to take this one. A farting, baby. Oh, I wish I hadn't. That's nice. Right, let's go find our shop. First and foremost, because that is very high tier. Go on, I'll pay you a little bit more. Oh! Rocket in a jar. What the hell is that? What the hell is rocket in a jar? That sounds incredible. Wait, bombs fly in a direction when we place them? Whoa! Worth every bomb. <laughs> Worth every bomb. That is incre that's an incredible item. I would have paid him twice as much for that. Well, I wouldn't have because we've never got twice as much. But, you know, hypothetically, if I had twice as much. Wow, we're going to fire a rocket up the mother's ass. That'll teach her a lesson. Try and murder me, will you? Mother. Let's try and uh, take out some of these guys as well. Let's try and get whatever hearts we can get. The chariot is fantastic. Could be great in the mother fight. We've got an orbital too. We could do some real damage with that. And it's, I mean, it's not, it's not that far away now, is it? What the fuck is even this? A strange room filled with strange teleport pads. Leading me to a certain death. Son of a bitch. You'd have to be very... You'd have to have a lot of uh, forward thinking to avoid that. Far more than me. It's also 8 a.m. and I haven't slept yet. Well, now it's 9.37 a.m. And I still haven't slept yet. Forward thinking is uh, not on my to-do list. That's a good item. So what that means is when our spacebar item is fully charged, it gives us a stat bonus. Uh, we All we have to do is just not generate a random card. And if we're going to be taking the chariot to the mother fight, that's a moot point. Where's the fucking shop? Thank you. Good lord. I have to come across the entire map for a bloody shop. Right. Final shop is pathetic. That gives us five bombs, though, so I'll take that. I'll buy you a bomb, too, because I like the remote detonator. Or, or sorry, not the remote detonator. The, uh... Ah! Oh, we've already got full suite. Never mind. Ignore me. 
We've already got three orbitals. You can't get a fourth. What I'd like to do is try and get a charge on... A full charge on our spacebar item to get the bonus from the Vibrant Bulb. Also, to get a bit more health would not be entirely a mess. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Don't wait too many of those up yet. What have you got for me? Two of hearts. That's bad. Doubles or hearts on the floor? Ah, it could be good. We could still have some use for that. Lock up. Jesus, we're getting very lucky. Not in the sense of, you know, we're doing well this run. In the sense of we are very literally lucky this run. Our character has a lot of the luck stat. Okay. We're getting there. I don't know. By getting there, when I say that, I mean conceptually, like, we are getting towards a run that is viable. But I'm, not, I'm still not entirely convinced the mother fight is going to be uh, an easy one. If, if we get there with only three hearts, which is unlikely. Look at those bonuses. Okay, so um, let's go back and get the chariot. Let's head down. Better when we've got to deal with the devil coming up too, which we can't afford. But Oh, why did I leave the cursor in? We've got bloody... Uh, we've got uh, these tears. I'll complain about how they dumped in the cursor room with no way out. Meanwhile, we've got tears that let us literally blow a hole in the wall. What a fool. Come on. Bad. Wish they hadn't nerfed the rate on that. It was such a consistent way to guarantee health, the blue fires, and now it's uh, pretty dog shit. <laughs> it's pretty fucking terrible. Right, so let's head over to our boss fight. Versus the siren. I've not fought you before. Hello. What the hell are even you? There was a character on the workshop. A, um... You've unlocked Gehenna. That was our final one to fight then, eh? What does the, what does the head do? Nothing? Um... There was a character on the workshop. I believe the siren was a, a mod for Isaac at one stage. Oh, hearts. Potentially fantastic for our deal with the devil. Potentially devastating, because now I feel like I could potentially take a deal with the devil, and that's not, not something I need to... That's, that's not a power the game should have given me. Eat up, dart bum. Consume. Good. What have you got? I'm not sure I know what that is. Sulfur. Temporary demon form. All right. That sounds fine. And slice. What's that do? Oh, we got a temporary brimstone. Oh, interesting. That's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. So every... Well, that's not actually that good, is it? To be honest. Because we're... Oh, I suppose with shielded tears, though, it's, it could be incredible. We'll see how it goes. We need to be so careful about health on this next floor. With shielded tears, Brimstone, that's a different story. Because not only do we block all the shots coming in, we do a lot of damage as well. That could be very good. But we're, of course, training stats with Vibrant Bulb. You see Vibrant Bulb more as a bonus and less of a, less of a loss if we don't have it. This opportunity cost, isn't it? Oh, this looks like a cost of fuck. Do you mind if I just dig through the middle? Thank you. Right. And there's one side done. Oh! Free things. Oh, hang on. We don't need to press these buttons. The door's open. This is just for things. I do love things. Hey, there we go. We see which way we got to go now. Okay. Look for tinted rocks. I never noticed, but on this floor, the music basically, well, dies, for lack of a better word. It's very, uh, very subdued. Feast. Little bum. Oh, guppy, guppy, guppy. Yes! Oh, no! Wait, no, that's fine. With our current health, that's fine. Uh, lose Polaroid effect, though. We've only got... How many guppy items have we picked up? Like, this is the first one. Not worth it. I'm sorry, dead cat. You will remain well and truly dead. What the hell did I take damage from then? The fuck? That enemy does not look like an Isaac enemy. Bothers me every time I see it. High Priestess. Stick with the chariot. Uh, there's a secret room over here. We'll blow away through in a second. Is that Tinted Rock? It's got a cross on it. Could be. We'll try it. Thank you. Thank you for restoring that heart that I lost somehow. There's another one here, Dart Bum. Be stuck. Okay. What have you got for me? 
No hearts, eh? I'll take the hearts. Yes. Good shit. Is that a... No, it wasn't. Thought it might have been a tinted rock. Oh, lucky penny. Another luck upgrade, you say. That's what we need. What was that? Oh, my God. We've got rocket bombs. That's what it is. Fuck. So the direction we're facing, we fire a rocket in. Yeah, okay. Got it. 100% chance to deal with the devil, too. Oh, big gluttony. Ah, oh, you fucker. Right. This should give us a bit more health. Hoping for at least three hearts from this room. Go, dart bum. No! Stars, Tower, Wheel of Fortune. Oh, fucking shit. Well, at least this thing can give us some hearts. Oh, is this an opportunity to have a drinky? Um, on the plus side, we could potentially get a better trinket because when we can fight the mother, we are going to be... Fair. Um, we are going to be... Oh, none of these are very good, though. Not for the mother fight. Ugh, I guess I'll stick with the vibrant bulb. Oh, God, I hate all of this. The chariot, the tower, the stars. Give us the chariot, then. Well, that wasn't very good. I can't believe out of all of that, we ended up leaving with the same amount of hearts as we went in with. Hello. I'm not entirely sure I know what you do yet, but we do enough damage where hopefully it won't be a problem. Oh, it's the cage with a gurgling on his head. It's a heart there. So as long as we don't take any damage in here, we can leave with more than we came in with. Oh, that's very rapid. That's very rapid. Sir, please die. We good? Oh, dart bum. What's this thing? Plus one to the lowest stat, which in this case is range. Oh, that's okay. Nope, I will not be taking that, but the amount of health we've got now, mm, quietly confident we might be able to take Kane off today. Corpse 2. Oh, it's like a graveyard in here. Right, what have you got for me? Tears upgrade, nice, very good. Speed upgrade, fuck it, I mean, there's no downside to that. Oh, God, I remember we've got that fucking rocket. That means I can't destroy this guy, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Well, I'm going to have to I'm gonna forget about that rocket for the mum fight because when we've got the chariot active, we can't fire... So we can't fire tears, but we can place bombs from what I remember. And if that's the case, we can launch a load of rockets in a, in a state of invincibility. It'd be very handy. Do you want to farm up HP? It's not really gone very swimmingly so far, has it? With the exception of those boss fights there. I don't know why I thought last floor was an XL floor. Well, it's because every bloody floor on this game has been a friggin' XL floor. They are large floors. XL in like a colloquial sense. Not like a fucking spreadsheet sense, idiot. These guys are tanky as all hell. Wow, I couldn't believe that. Feast. Hearts. Make up for my shortcomings. Fuck it. We can blitz through. Yeah, there we go. I didn't know this was going to be the boss fight. Obviously. This was like pretty natural sense. Let's head into this dirty, dirty hole. Hello. Fire. Yes. Rockets away. That's a regular bomb. That's a rocket. Wow, that was pathetic. <laughs> wow. We can do both, though. This is fine. Can't be the mother again. Oh, let's do that. Shield some of these tears away. Nice. Good shit. Careful there. Nice. First phase over already. Bloody hell. Oh, shielded tears. Help me out here. Oh, I fired it backwards. My bad. Sorry. I'm trying to do too many things at once. I keep holding Brimstone because I'm like thinking about so much shit going on. There's like so many keys being pressed simultaneously here. This is so silly. We are out of bombs now so I can focus on just regular old murdering. 
you know, the good stuff. Careful there. Oh god, okay, so you can't just stand still for that. Once we're getting some orbital damage for the few seconds where it counts. We've done it. That was actually very easy. That was very easy. We've unlocked a new item. Interesting. Look at this. Guppy's eye. I knew what that was because the Steam Achievement popped up first. <laughs> um, is that a new Guppy item? Like, Does that count towards the Guppy transformation is the real question. Pull up Steam here and quickly take a look. Um, complete the corpse with Kane. Why don't I go and look up Guppy's eye then? Guppy's eye. Uh... Guppy's eyes is a passive item added in the Binding of Isaac Repentance. It shows what's in chests and sacks via icons placed over them. It includes Mum's chest. Does not include Mega chests. Shows the contents of fires, including blue and purple fires. The item belongs to the Guppy set. Collecting three items will transform Isaac into Guppy. Oh, there you go. It's an uh, increased chance of getting Guppy now. Wow. That's actually like, really good. So you've got Dead Cat, Guppy's head, Guppy's collar, Guppy's hairball, Guppy's paw, Guppy's eye. Of his tail. Is that seven? Whoa, Jesus. That's fantastic. All right, then. Well, let's, uh, let's wrap it up there. Another victory, you say? My, my, my.